Thanks everybody for coming and listening to my um, to my talk today. I'm going to talk about our work, a similarity based approach for efficient large cause detection. And um, I will first um, right? first I will introduce some basic knowledge and related work. Then we'll present our two our reasons and two and main experiment results, also our future directions. Then subgraph extension has many applications like analyze social network complex graphs and identify spam link forms in web graphs. There are various formulations for extracting different classes of dense subgraphs based on different density matrix. And click is the most classic dense subgraph model. A click is a subset of vertices such that every two distinct vertices are adjacent. And while conceptually simple, clicks are often unrealistic for noisy incomplete real-world data. This has motivated the uh, development of various formulations of uh, that sort of formulations that in the literature. Uh, the classic and the classic click is a relaxation of the click concept to allow for real-world noise and missing edges. Given subgraph S, the edge density of S denoted as delta S is the number of edges of S divided by the binomial coefficient of as choose two, where and an alpha cosy click is a subgraph where delta s is larger than alpha. The maximum cosy click is an alpha cosy click with maximum cardinality, and it is proved to be MP hard. But to so to find the exact solution of maximum cosy problem is very time consuming. So in this work, we we'll propose polynomial time algorithms that find near maximum cosy clicks efficiently. Well, before presenting our algorithms, let me introduce a little bit about related works in the literature. literature. The first algorithm is MB, and it is a neighborhood-based method. It works by visiting every vertex in the graph and computing the edge density of the subgraph induced by its one-hop neighbors and output the best. But this algorithm has some limitations. The first is that uh, it, it is time consuming since because it integrates through all vertices and computes the edge density for every vertex. Also, it has quality limitation uh, because it, it treats the entire neighborhood as a cause click. It may overlook the subgraphs contained within larger neighborhoods. The other um, sec the second algorithm and UQCLQ is a local search method. And um, it works by it identifies the maximum cosy click based on a predefined threshold for the cosy click and a specific specified cutoff time. The algorithm will terminate when it reaches the cutoff time or the respected result is formed. And this algorithm also has time limitations since when you want to uh, get a relative good cosy click. So, technical contributions of our work is that we propose a similarity-based algorithm that can efficiently detect cosy clicks inside the neighborhoods. And we also propose the uh, mean hash-based algorithm FAST and VISN, which incorporates approximations with mean hash to reduce the similarity calculation time and complexity linear. And this algorithm is up to three orders of magnitude faster than the state of um, the um, algorithms while ensuring high quality cost click extraction. Uh, and let me first introduce uh, some concepts about structure similarity. Given two sets X to Y, the Jacquard similarity of these two sets is defined as the intersection of X and Y divided by the union of X to Y. Uh, also the Jacquard similarity is adopted in many areas like clustering, but I think we think it's not suitable for our case. As you can see in this picture, we find that NU is mostly contained by NV. So then we can propose containment score, and we think given two vertices U and V, the containment score of U in V is defined as, uh, as the intersection of NU and NV divided by NU, and we think it's more um, uh, suitable for our case. Then we can extract cosy click from one vertex neighborhood. We call it QC extract, which is very simple. Uh, we first initialize a vertex set, then it integrates over each vertex V in the neighborhood of vertex U. Check if TUV larger than gamma. 
uh, an advert test fee to S if the condition is fulfilled. And finally, we get a cost click S. Uh, the parameters gamma and B here uh, is, are set by users to ensure the lower bound of the cost click. Uh, well, QC, QC extract, extract cost clicks from a single vertex neighborhood. Uh, if we want to try uh, to find near maximum cost clicks across the full graph, uh, the unexhaustive way is to integrate through all vertices and uh, uh, extract cost clicks from all neighborhoods. But it is time consuming. Uh, so to improve efficiency, uh, given the condition T U V larger than gamma, we propose a new vertex ordering strategy using the new concept gamma degree. Given a graph G and a vertex U, we define the gamma degree of U as the number of neighbors of U with a degree at least gamma times du, denoted as d gamma U. And by using this new ordering strategy, we propose our uh, algorithm and BSIM. This algorithm works by first, it integrates, it integrates through all each vertex U in descending order with respect to the gamma degree. Then for each vertex U satisfying the degree condition, the algorithm proceeds to construct the vertex set C by invoking QC extract. And if the size of set C written by QC extract is greater than the uh, center of S, as S is updated to C. And finally, S is written as the near maximum cost click. The time complexity of this algorithm is n times d max since we need to uh, calculate TUV for each edge twins. And then we will propose our second algorithm, fast and BSIM. Um, this are, uh, the motivation is that in the real world, uh, some vertices can have really large degree and their neighbors uh, are integrated repeatedly. So, and it can be very time consuming. So to improve the efficiency, we can use mean hash technique to approximating the containment score. The key idea is to represent each vertex neighborhood using a mean hash signature. The, then this jacquard similarity, sigma UV between vertices, vertices U and V can then be approximated as sigma hat UV, which is the similarity of two signatures. Then we can get the estimate uh, ultimate containment score, uh, T hat UV via transformation function by using the uh, approximate Jacquard similarity. Uh, the reason with the time complexity of this algorithm is reduced to OMK, and K is the size of the signature. The, uh, this algorithm works, li uh, works like the MBSIM. It first constructs k universal hash, hash functions to generate signatures for vertices. Then it extracts QC, click, QC clicks uh, by mean hash using QC mean hash. And the QC mean hash is also like QC extract. Uh, it will first compute the signature of one vertex. If this, vert if this signature is not computed, then it derives the estimate similarity with the signatures of two vertices. and approximate the containment score uh, via the transformation function. Then the return the set. Now we can use the return set to update the S and return S as the near maximum cost click. Um, we do our, uh, we test our, we use 10 real data sets to test all two algorithms and compare them with um, baseline functions, MB and, and UQCLQ. And for the inform, inform, efficiency performance, we find that fast MBISM outperforms MBISM by adopting mean hash approximation. And fast MBISM is up, is up to three orders of magnitude faster than MB and, U, and UQCLQ. And for the quality performance, um, we find that in most cases, MBSM and fast as MBISM can achieve comparable or even uh, larger sizes with max similar edge density compared with MB and new QCLQ. In the future, we will explore efficient methods for identifying large cost clicks in dynamic graphs uh, and investigate how to dynamically maintain the mean hash signatures. And that's all, thank you.